Well, it's another day and we're doing another job on the F-Type. Um, should be just a quick one today. We have some new brake pads to put on the rear and then while we've got the wheels off, we're just gonna clean them up. We're gonna put some hybrid solution ceramics spray coating on and then just a little bit of tire gel as well, just to smarten the tires up. Um, should be a pretty quick one, so let's get on with it. Okay then, while we're here, just noticed that the caliper is pretty black. Thought it'd be rude not to give it a little bit of a clean. So we've just got some, basically some water and some very mild soap in here, which is safe for discs. And then what is essentially a heavy duty toothbrush. So let's just give this a quick clean. Okay then, so the, here are the new pads, so these are uh, Brembo pads, and here are the old ones, so there is there is some branding left, left on this actually, so you can see they're TRW, which is the same manufacturer as the calipers, so unlike the guy on the phone from Jaguar who made out like, their pads were made out of some sort of gold dust, you know, they are sort of pretty normal things, we'll give these a go, if by any chance they aren't any good for whatever reason then we can always swap them to an OEM one. Um, so yeah, let's get these on the car. Okay, so if I was being honest here, I'd tell you that I've just spent about half an hour taking off the electric handbrake motor, then trying to rewind the caliper from the back, only to tell you that that was all pointless because the caliper literally just pushes in unlike any other rear caliper that I've ever done pads on before but I'm not going to be honest so I'm just going to tell you that this has taken about five minutes to push the piston back in with this tool everything went smoothly let's get on to the next bit Okay, the new pads are on there then. So I did actually have a bit of a battle with that as I mentioned earlier. Um, and as you can see, the the caliper paint is, is showing some scars because of it. So I will touch that up another day. However, um, I'm obviously gonna go onto the uh, other side now and that will be a lot easier. I did not realize that the caliper would just push back in in that same way. So um, I'm going to go and do the other side now and then we'll move on to putting the ceramic coat on the wheels like I mentioned earlier. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, the wheel's all clean now, um, so I'm just going to apply the Hybrid Solution Ceramic Coating, just using a microfiber towel. Um, I've already done the front wheels, I did my last car in the same way, and this stuff does really last quite a long time. So um, now when I wash the car um, with this on, i.e. how the front wheels already are, you can see the water just sort of beads off them and they do clean up a lot easier, so uh, it's definitely worth doing if you are interested in keeping your wheels clean. Okay, so I've got this wheel back on now. I did decide to touch up the caliper because I couldn't really leave it like that. It only took five minutes. Um, the wheel is looking pretty good. You can see that. Okay, so we're all done on this side now. Um, I'm not going to film the next side, but I am curious to see how long it's going to take. As usual, this side took probably an hour and a half, two hours, because I was filming and I was fuffing around trying to get that piston back in. Um, it's currently half five, so let's see how long it takes to do the next side. Um, and I'll also do the, the coat on the wheels as well, so that'll take some time. Um, so I'll check back in when, we, when we're done. Okay, so I'm sat in the car, in the garage. It is now dark, so that is outside. And it's half past seven. I have had food in between. Um, but I did just probably waste an hour before it clicked that maybe I should watch a YouTube video uh, because I could not get that caliber piston to go back in. So I watched a YouTube video and of course there's a service mode for the handbrake which I didn't realize. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video that I watched to find that out. And yeah, I mean you put it in service mode, the, the piston goes back in just as you'd expect and for all intensive purposes that's a very easy job so this is why the title of this video doesn't say how to because we're all in together but yeah technology always finds a way of making things harder i guess so given that it is 20 to 8 on a sunday i'm gonna head inside i'm pretty cold tired dirty so i need to go and chill out thanks for watching